Hello, this is Sue and I'm bringing you the anterior posterior calf routine using Yamana balls, black balls. Please don't do this if you have inflammation or problems in your ankles or knees. If you experience any pain, come out of it. Or if you've had a recent surgery on your knees or your ankles. Okay, otherwise, check it out. See how it goes. We're gonna be using, we're gonna be doing one leg at a time. You're gonna come onto your knees. You're gonna place one ball behind the knee, hold on to it, bend it, come sit back in. Knees are in one line, and the foot where the ball is, that foot is aiming straight back. You're just going to sit your hips toward the heels. Take the other ball and place it right under the top of the, sh of the shin, uh, the top of the shin, below your knee, so below the patella, right at the top of the shin. And go ahead and bring your body back. Keep your knees and your feet and your ankles parallel and your legs as close as possible. You're going to start to bear weight down into the ball. You can even stack your arms and just press down. Keep your hips aiming down, pressing down towards the heels, and those balls are stacked right over one another. You can just sit back towards the heels, take several breaths in this position. And you kind of do a watch and wait here and just let things begin to open. Okay, just breathe into the posture. This, this routine is awesome. It starts to squeeze out the tension in the lower legs. Again, checking in with your, your foot, making sure that your toes are straight back, pointing straight back. Bear down, take a couple of breaths here. To come up and move the balls, you're gonna lift yourself forward. You're gonna move the, the ball behind your knee down the back of the calf, and then you're gonna take the, the ball below and move that down the shin towards the foot. Balls are on top of one another. Hold on, sit back down. And again, begin to sink back and down into the balls and breathe. Just keep bearing weight, keep breathing. This is so good. It just squeezes out the tension in the low legs. Breathe. You're gonna take a couple of breaths in each spot. You can stay as long as you'd like, right, depending on what you're working on. When you're ready to move the balls, you, you come off forward, move the ball back down another third. Have a seat. Hold on to that ball positioning and getting it right on the hamstring, keeping it right on that lower part of the calf muscle and on the shin bone in the front. And sit back, try to keep your knees even, keep your legs as close as you can and keep those toes facing back. We're looking at, we're working on alignment here. Continue to breathe. And just sink down into the posture. Breathe. Take another breath in and breath out and then come forward and slide. Now we're gonna be moving the body forward. Just keep the balls right there. You're gonna bring that bottom ball right in front of the ankle, and then the top ball goes at the Achilles. Have a seat. Front knee can come down. You can sit up, relax the shoulders back. Nice posture, Just sit into the balls. Breathing here. Toes still moving backwards. You can even take a hold of the ankle. Continue to sit back and down and breathe. Take a couple of breaths here, opening up. Working the ankles, using the balls to push the heels away. Breathing, letting the ball sink fully into the back of the ankle. In this position, the muscles and the tendons of both anterior and posterior ankles are fully stretched. Okay, 
and then we're going to come forward and we're going to and we're going to get into the feet so come forward and you'll see that the, the bottom ball is at the top of the foot right below the right below the toes and your your black ball is still right there at the Achilles and you can start to push down the top of the ball this is an awesome stretch for the feet and for the ankles same here same deal now we get the nice stretch in the in the posterior and the anterior and you're pushing down the top of your foot leaning back pressing down sitting down breathing it's an awesome stretch just keep bearing weight you can come a little bit more forward if you need to press down bear weight breathing and bring the body forward, take the balls out. You can come into downward facing dog and notice the difference between the two feet, the two legs, particularly the lower legs. And that's the anterior posterior routine using black balls. Have a great day. See you next time.